ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக வி வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏக்கலைவா சில்ட்ரன் டுடே ஐ ஆம் ஹியர் டு டீச் அ பாயிட்ரி ஃபார் கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் சிபிஎஸ்சி த நேம் ஆஃப் த போம் இஸ் லிசி அண்ட் த ஆப்பிள் ட்ரீ ரிட்டன் பை ஜுலி ஹோல்டர் பிஃபோர் கோயிங் இன் டு த போயம் லெட் அஸ் லேர்ன் அபவுட் த போயிட்டஸ் Julie Holder is a well-known children's writer. Her poems have been included in popular poetry anthologies for children. A Piece of Sky, The Monkey and You and The Alien are three of her best-known poems. Before going into the poem, let us see what's about this poem is. This poem is about a little girl named Lizzie. Lizzie is fond of apples. Every day she'll go near the apple tree and also she used to sit on the branches of the tree and enjoy the day. Stanza 1 Once upon a time every day for a while Lizzie sat up in the apple tree behind the leaves and a smile So once upon a time there was a little girl named Lizzie and this Lizzie every day every day she'll go to the tree for some time and she sat up in the apple tree and hid herself behind the leaves with a great smile and she said when they called that she would not come down till the apples dropped off and the leaves turned brown so this stanza tells us about that whomever called her whomever called her she won't bother she won't come down it seems until the apples drop down she'll be sitting on the tree she swung her legs and laughed at their frown and didn't come down didn't come down so she swung her legs on the branches of the tree she uh, she was sitting and she was swinging her legs and laughed at the parents anger so frown in the sense children so frown in the sense anger so anger she laughed at their anger then also she won't come down it seems lizzy sat up in the apple tree's hair in the wind and the rain in the sun and the air this stanza tells us about that even lizzy whether it's a windy day or a sunny day she won't bother she she won't come down she'll be sitting on the tree lizzy swung in the apple tree's arms and ignored her family's tempers and charms so here this girl this girl she'll be sitting quietly on the branches of the tree and enjoying the day and ignored her family's tempers temper in the sense children anger so temper in the sense anger anger and charm charm means happy so she won't she won't come down it seems and she ignored her family's tempers and charm when lizzy turned into an apple they ceased to scold or berate her 
and when the apples fell down she forgot she was lazy and ate her so this stanza tells us about that they seized they seized in the sense so they seized in the sense they stopped they stopped they stopped to scold or berate again this is also scold angrily scolding so they stopped to scold her and when the apples fell down they forgot they forgot she was lizzy and ate her so at last what happened the last at last lizzy turned into an apple turned into an apple and the parents stopped to scold her and the thing is when the apples fell down unknowingly they forgot about her they ate her so at last lizzy was eaten up by her family members so they felt very sad at last the parent felt very sad so through this poem we should learn that we should obey our parents always okay we should obey our parents now let us move on with the literary devices used in the poem children the literary devices used in the poem imagery imagery is nothing but the language used by the poet so the language used by the poet the language used by the poet to pictureize to pictureize the images in the mind of the reader so in this line this line lizzy sat up in the apple tree behind the leaves so it's pictureized so it's called as imagination imagery then comes to alliteration alliteration is nothing but alliteration alliteration is nothing but the repetition the repetition of usually initial consonant sounds in two or more neighboring words so it's a repetition of consonant sounds okay in two or more neighboring words in this poem in this line she said s is repeated the consonant sound is repeated the consonant sounds are repeated then comes personification personification the attribution of a personal nature or human characteristics to something non human so here the apple tree is personified so the apple tree is personified the next is rhyme scheme a rhyme scheme is a pattern of sounds that repeats at the end of the line or stanza the patterns are encoded by letters of the alphabet lines designated with the same letter rhyme with each other so this is a pattern this is a pattern rhyme scheme is a pattern of sounds that repeats that repeats at the end of the line or stanza so end end of the line or stanza the pattern are encoded so the patterns are encoded by letters of the alphabet so by the letters of the alphabet lines designated with the same letter rhyme with each other children let us read the poem once and see the rhyme scheme here 
Once upon a time, every day for a while, Lizzie sat up in the apple tree behind the leaves and a smile. So, in this line, first line, take the last word. It ends with time. In the second line, it ends with while. So, it's not going together. It's not rhyming together. So, the rhyme scheme is, I'm going to encode with alphabet A for the first line. And for the second line, I'm going to put B. Now, come to, let us move on to the third line. Lizzie sat up in the apple tree. So, tree, while and tree. When I compare with the while and tree, it doesn't go together. So, I'm going to encode with alphabet C. Then comes behind the leaves. Here, tree and leaves. It doesn't, it's not going together. So, I'm going to put D here. When it comes to the last line, and a smile. So, here, the, the second sentence and the last sentence, the word, the last word is similar, the sound is similar. So, I'm going to put B here. So, now, the rhyme scheme is A, B, C, D, B. So, the rhyme scheme is A. The rhyme scheme is A, B, C, D and B. So, this is the rhyme scheme children of this stanza. Now, let us learn. The rhyming words. Yes. Let us learn the rhyming words in this stanza. In this stanza, the rhyming words are Lizzie sat up in the apple tree's air, in the wind and the rain, in the sun and the air. So here, the word air rhymes with air. So the rhyming pair is hair air. Children So children I hope you learn the poem. We'll meet you in another session. Till then, it's bye. To receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates.